Stolen yeah. government. The war has been raging for 13 years, leaving a long trail of suffering in a once prosperous land. This is what the ceasefire has stopped. What the withdrawal of South African, then Cuban troops from Angola will end. The stated purpose of the peace negotiations is to find a settlement where there are only winners. But billions of US dollars, Russian rubles, and South African rands have been poured into a high-tech war in a low-tech country, where so far there have only been losers. It is a country where soldiers still sing war chants and dance before they use the weapons the superpowers have supplied them. What began as a small but nasty civil war has been intensified and distorted by outside intervention. Angola has become a killing field of shocking brutality. While there are conflicting reports of the number of military casualties, no one knows how many civilians have died. In its path, the war has left what seems to be whole villages of cripples. Thousands of children have been maimed. They are treated in hospitals that are hopelessly inadequate. A rich green land that once helped to feed the rest of Africa, Angola is now an economic ruin, unable to feed itself. Its rail lines, its ports, its oil depots, ravaged. But there is a chance this war might end soon. Not so much because tens of thousands of Angolans have died, but because, among other reasons, too many white South Africans have lost their lives. South Africa has taken the first step by beginning its withdrawal from Angola, but even now there are many obstacles in the way of a final settlement. The possibility of peace is real, but so is the possibility that the war songs will begin again.